Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working at my part-time job slash side hustle. This is where we live whenever I'm not on a welding project. Those of you that follow along, you know about the Eros Welding store and that's what I'm talking about. We have an online store. We sell tools, hoodies, you know, all kinds of stuff. But all that to say, I wanted to take you along on this side of, of what we do. Those of you that have followed along, you know that I have been welding for about 14 or 15 years. I welded on the pipeline for most of my welding career and counting. It's not like I'm retired, but and now I just work on fence and such. But also we have an online store and I just wanted to share this part of the uh, business with you guys or this part of my life with, with you guys because it's super interesting, you know. But before we get into showing you around the warehouse slash, uh, what would you call this, Kayla? I mean, it's, it's a lot of things. It's a very, garage. like a garage. Yeah, it's literally what it is. It's like a 20 by 30 garage but we're thankful for this but needless to say we're kind of growing out of it but we're thankful because before we were here we were in our house and that was even more of a small space but we can talk about uh that stuff as we go here today or in another video if you're interested if you're interested let me know in the comments uh, we can make more videos about uh you know where we where we started with the store and whatnot but anyway before we get started i wanted to talk about the black friday sale that's going on in the aros welding store um it's going on right now it started at midnight last night i assume because if you're watching this whenever this video is published the sale is from today till cyber monday everything should be in stock uh if there's stuff that we run out of we do hope that we're going to be able to get more products in time for you to get in time for Christmas gifts. But I also wanted to mention the bundles that we're putting together. We're putting together some bundles that's going to include the pipe fence course. We're opening up enrollment for the pipe fence course again. If you haven't been following along, last time we offered the, or the last couple times that we've offered the pipe fence course, it's been on a totally different website, my trade school website. This time it's going to be on the Aros Welding Store website and it's gonna be included in a bundle. So that's where you'll check out at if you're looking to get the pipe fence course along with these other items that are gonna be in some of these bundles. There's uh, roughly how many different bundles? I think there's gonna be four different bundles. The smallest one being just stickers and a gift card and the biggest one being some products we don't even carry in the store that you use for pipe fence. Right, like string line, uh, tip cleaner and a couple other things but yeah so they're more or less like exclusive for this sale and we just thought it would be nice to be able to not only get a gift card for the pipe fence course but actually get something tangible for Christmas so that's why we wanted to go this route of of this this bundle situation and they're very limited <clears throat> I mean seats oh, yeah. in the course are not limited but the bundles are very limited. So if you just want the pipe fence course and it's not a gift, the quickest way to get access to the pipe fence course is to go to the other website, arosswelding.school. And over there you can find just the pipe fence course. That's gonna be your quickest way to get access. But if you're purchasing the pipe fence course as a gift and you want like an actual gift card to give somebody, for Christmas and you want the exclusive sticker bundle that comes with that, then you can find that on arosswelding.com forward slash shop under wherever it'll be. It'll be under the bundles because we're going to create different bundles. And then you will get an email after you check out, give like 48 hours, you will get an email with the instructions of how to tell the person you're gifting it to sign up for the course but I need a little bit of time, but it will be coming. Whatever email you check out with on the arosswelding.com store for a bundle, for a course as a gift, mm -hmm. that email will receive directions on how the person you're gifting it to actually signs up to the course. Right, right, okay. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments or text 405-643 7176 you can text that number with any questions you may have that's going to be quicker than like email as far as getting any questions answered when it comes to anything real quick there is a limited amount of bundles but there's not a limited amount of pipe fence courses that we're allowing people to sign up for like i said if you have any questions let us know text that number where i'm standing right now grab your coffee uh relax have fun enjoy the uh tour um, where I'm standing right now is kind of where we actually end up. The shipping computer's here. We got packaging stuff here. We got boxes. So, and behind you is all the products. Yeah, most all the products. Yeah. 
yeah, everything, all the products are over there. These are all the inserts. Can they see this? So these are what we call inserts and like the freebie stickers that we give out. And yeah, like I said, packaging boxes, poly mailers. We'll talk more about this later, but we'll go around here and look at the uh, store. So you might recognize this building if you've already purchased the pipe fence course. This is, this is where we stood and talked about some stuff. Uh, this is just some storage. These are some shelves that we recently added because like I said, we we're growing out of this space. Uh, so we needed to do something with all the boxes and everything that we need to carry on this store in any kind of efficient way. This here is a product shelf, one out of, I don't know, six or eight or something. Uh, we've actually just recently moved some stuff because we had all the Aeros welding stuff here and we were having to walk around here to get stuff so we finally got smart and moved the aros welding stuff because we pick it the most right there next to where our shipping table is but uh so yeah this is just some industrial industrial tradition shirts we have some industrial tradition shirts that say welder pipeliner traveler and i think the other one says farmer well we're actually going to be putting the welder and pipeliner on the aros welding website that way it's easier to check out if you are interested in those shirts. That's that shelf. Here is all the stickers. Kayla has nicely organized all these and labeled them. That way they're easy to find. The, uh, what do we call these? Sticker bags, more or less. We stamp them. That's what I do a lot is a bunch of stamping. So yeah, we take one of these and we put chipboard in. One or two, depending on how it's what else it's going with and then we put uh stickers in so that's the sticker section this is like i said what i do a lot of which is stamping and this is where all this happens at not only do we stamp these sticker bags but we stamp boxes we stamp uh i mean all kinds of things bags all the all the bags that like the circle burners and the welding shirts come in, we stamp all those. The more uh, volume that we get, we're realizing that we're gonna have to do something else like print. That's really Kayla's department. Like I'm sitting here talking like I know how all this works. Kayla knows more about how all this works and whatnot. All I know is that stamping is um, at some point not worth stamping, it's worth printing. <laughs> That's what I do know. I love the look of the stamp. I do too. But it's it's hard on the hands very time That's consuming why Austin does it because my hands hurt so bad so yeah like this big stamp only like it's got this handle but this big stamp the only way to get it to press right is to use these four corners and yeah you definitely get calluses so rough life of the side hustle <laughs> the exclusive school stickers a little sneak peek Went from getting burnt up by welding sparks to getting calluses on my thumbs from stamping. Pathetic, I know. A little entertainment situation. A little bit of 90s country music video. Come on. It's our fave. This shelf here is all of the, uh, not all, but a bunch of the mostly grabbed Aros welding stuff. So this top shelf consists of all the soapstone and we actually, we get the soapstone in and then we package everything in bubble wrap. And then in these bags, this is the uh, soapstone with 120, uh, 50, 10, uh, three soapstone, brass soapstone holder with, what did I say, three? Here, let me grab four. So you can show them out of the bubble wrap one second. Okay. That pink hair dryer. So the pink hair dryer is because of the new ink pad that we got. The previous ink pad that we've been using ran out of ink. We've tried to add ink, it didn't work. And of course it would happen during this holiday rush that we have coming up. So we went and bought some new ink pads and the new ink, we realized quickly, at least on the bags, it was worse that it was uh, like rubbing off. Like it wasn't drying as quick. The previous ink that we used dried a lot faster. So I got a hair dryer out. That's what I used for a while to dry the, uh, the ink, the, the stamp. Funny story about that pink hair dryer. That's actually mine, not Kayla's. I bought that when I was pipelining. I bought the hairdryer to probably thaw. I'm guessing Kayla wasn't there. She wasn't with me and she took her hairdryer with her or, or did I need it? I feel like, oh no, you know what? I bought that to keep in my truck to thaw out my piece of ice 
that was building up at the bottom of my fuel tank on my weld machine. And I bought an inverter and everything so I could run it because I couldn't run it off my weld machine because my weld machine wouldn't start. So I had to buy an inverter to hook up to my battery to run the hairdryer. And the only reason I bought the pink one because it was like the cheapest one. So funny story about the hairdryer. But so I had my own hairdryer to thaw out water living in a camper. That's a thing. Or obviously gelled up or iced up fuel in a weld machine. So anyway, enough about the hairdryer. Here is the tubes that the soapstone comes in. So we... We count out 10 of the soapstones, put them in these clear tubes, and then, and then we do the same with the three here. We put cotton balls on each end, and this is the brass soapstone holder uh, that comes with whichever one. You can buy just the holder, or you can buy different options. And then here's newly added brass item. The dice, my ultimate favorite. Super, super excited about these. So that is available in the store. Super good gift idea, if you ask me. I love them so much, I just wanna carry them in my pocket. And for those of you that might be new to welding, brass actually works as a good gap filler with welding. I learned that at that first shop job that I worked at. Years ago, they had a piece of brass just in the welding shop to fill like big gaps because mild steel will not stick to brass. So you can like put your brass, like if you have a gap between two pieces of metal and put brass on the back, you can weld across it and then just move the brass because it won't stick to the brass. So a little welding tip there in the middle of the video. So anyway, soapstone's on the top shelf. And then the next shelf we've got, we got blue books over here. We got candles, we got metal puzzles, the dice is here, uh, more candles. And then under that shelf, the rest of the way down mostly consists of welding shirts. Oh, and then of course the circle burners. Circle burners are here also. I just said everything below the shelf was welding shirts. That was wrong. We got circle burners, small circle burners, large circle burners, and then extensions, circle burner extensions on the bottom. So, so yeah, as you can see, like I've mentioned a couple times, we get products in and we put them all in our own packaging. So that's what a lot of our time consists of out here is like I said, stamping and repackaging stuff. Learn something every day hat. We've got some new candles down here that I'm real excited about. We now carry some coffee in what appears to be a paint can. It's just real, um, God, what do you call that? Like industrial? I don't know. It's super unique. I like the um, container is what I'm saying. It's a whole bean coffee, so you will need a grinder. Will you grab the Roughneck candy? Oh yeah, Roughneck. These are made in Oklahoma products. It's the one on the left. Roughneck. Back here we've got the Come On shirts. Mini gang shirts. Kids shirts. Kids shirts. Grab one of those out. I think some people don't know. Yeah, this is a kind of means, maybe. kind of a throwback or whatever, but it stemmed from uh, pipe lining. So Kayla came up with the play on words, mini gang. And for those of you who don't know, on pipeline work, they have what they call the front end for like the main production of the pipe, but then what they also have is what they call uh, a mini gang, which is like, it's like the front end putting pipe together, but you're putting like a, like creek sections together or putting fittings on. They call that a mini gang just because it's, it's stuff that the main front end can't put together or it wouldn't be as productive for them to put together. So they, the Weldon boss puts together what they call a mini gang and. And obviously every mini, Pipeline kid needs a mini gang. Yeah, mini gang. Super like one of our favorites. Like literally one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. So we just literally put all these labels on. So I'm not used to having the labels. So I'm always like looking in here, going by the number because Kayla's got it all organized by numbers. So anyway, we've got short hood shirts here. A Ross Welding branded t shirts, gray and black. And then A Ross Welding branded uh, hoodies down there. Here we've got the leather patch hats. Industrial tradition leather patch hats, gray, black, navy, and then we do actually even have some limited edition maroon for all y'all Alabama fans or OU fans. And then we've got green leather patch hats also. Past here is just some 
personal storage. So that's literally our mini warehouse situation. Do y'all have any questions so far? If you do, let us know in the comments. I sincerely want to know, like, what are your thoughts on this space and, and everything? Like, do you have any questions, how things work, whatever, let us know in the comments. Do you like seeing the side of the business? Yeah, I would love, we would love to know if you like seeing the side of the business. I enjoy it, never saw myself doing such a thing. I say it all the time, if it wasn't for Kayla, I would not be doing such a thing, but um, it has been quite the experience and fun. So what you just seen was where we pick orders, like what well, we actually print what we call packing slips, right? Packing slips? Packing slips over here. And then Kayla does that. She folds them in half or she sets the stack right here and I'll fold them in half. And then I will go through and pick all the items and set them right here on this limited space we have. Kayla will then grab the order and see what's all in the order, pick the size of box or polymeller that it needs to go in, and then start putting the box together, packaging it, she does her magic with her, I call it magic because it's nice. She takes a lot of pride in packaging. And those of you that have ordered, you know that. Um, it's like getting a Christmas gift in my opinion. So uh, she packages it up all real nice and neat. And then she tapes it up. And then we put the inserts in. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Puts, she puts all the inserts in. Yeah, so usually you'll get obviously at least a thank you card. I don't know what. Has social stuff on the back, so check out the back. I'm struggling because I literally don't, I don't know what I I pick orders. I don't know what she does. Yeah, we put in show them the coasters. These round things that you get in your order are coasters, so they're paper coasters, disposable, but you can set your drink on them. Pretty handy, and then stickers. Oh, all these stickers. We put in a few stickers with every order. And then a thank you card, and then this or no? Yeah. Sometimes. Postcard. It, it changes. Okay. So then she adds the inserts, tapes it up, and then it goes on to the label situation, which Weigh is... it and make the label. And that's uh, pretty much it, other than this new machine we just got. If you order this holiday season, you'll get a box with Aros welding tape on it, which is super cool. This is the new Aros welding tape. Used to, it was just... Like this is literally a new addition. We just started doing this. We did just have clear tape, but now we have this Aeros welding tape, which is super cool to me. So she's got a little machine for it. Uh, it's gotta be wetted, but yeah, we can talk more about all that type of stuff if you all are interested in this type of stuff. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up. I know it's not a welding project, but I do love that I, that I can share this, especially if you're interested in this side of the business. If you have any questions about the sale that's going on, you can text the number 405-643-7176. You can text the word shop, or you can literally just text any question you may have about any of the bundles or anything that we've talked about in this video, and we will uh, get you some answers. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving or you're having an awesome Thanksgiving weekend. Be safe, stay warm, and remember, learn something every day.